here we are one month later and so this is the throwaway food for October Wow we got some of the same things we got a lot of different things but we got a lot of really good useful items and I'm gonna have some videos coming your way what do we do with coconuts I got a bunch of coconuts and a whole bunch of limes what you're seeing here isn't everything but I have everything laid out and I'm gonna show you close up what all I got so we have tomatoes we have strawberries we have cases of limes we have over here is a table full of different foods some of these foods are really old some of these foods are really fresh you get a little bit of everything but I was really thankful for the evaporated milk now the evaporated milk expires uh, 2019 it was in June it's fine yet I use evaporated milk to make my macaroni and cheese crock pot recipe so this week next week all of my recipes are going to be around this kind of food that I got and like I told you on Monday's video we didn't have any produce anymore and I was so hungry for produce well we got some fresh lettuce to make salads fresh tomatoes fresh strawberries, fresh grapes, and now I have some fresh food to last me. So, enough of talking and I'll show you what we got. Since it's so much food, I'm just going to pan my camera so you can actually see it. And you can see that a lot of this food had prices on, at one time. So they came from a discount grocery store at one time. But I'm going to share with you. So, expiration dates. Everybody is hung up on expiration dates. There is a website you can go online to find out about your expiration dates, but in general, things in glass jars will last you way beyond the expiration date. This is Italian seasoning. This is Italian salad dressing. This will last me way beyond 2019 because it's in glass. So what I have to do is I got to go through this food and we are going to go through the strawberries because some of them are rotten, so we give them to the chickens and we go through the tomatoes and then we put them in bags and we put that in the refrigerator so this is table number one just want to show you I love them fruit cups that is something that we can actually eat right away now I'm going to need your help as you see there's tofu we have never eaten tofu I need to know in the comments below how do you make tofu what does it taste like is it something that we're going to want or not also, what are those little things? Are they limes? Those little green things, because I got some of them. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Also, way over here you're going to see a bag of something dry, and it says dry malt. Can somebody please tell me, do you know what dry malt is for? I have no idea but it looks like a flour so maybe you use it in some kind of cooking I don't know I need your help alright table number one now let's go and I'll show you what I really got in large quantity alright my friends take a look at that <laughs> so we got four case pallets of strawberries and look at all them limes. I am going to dehydrate them limes because I've always wanted limes dehydrated. I use them for all kinds of products from cleaning products and also using limes as decorations. Dehydrate it for Christmas time. Really, really excited about that. Well, we just got back from the food pantry and we have some different items this month. So, like I tell you all my videos, this is a disclaimer. This food was going to be giving to the pigs what was left. And it's really good items. So after everybody took what they wanted, we went back and we got what we could use. I'll show you what I got because it's going to be some unusual things that we're going to dehydrate this month. This table is a little bit of this and that. Last month we got some of this bacon and I was going to make some canned baked beans which you know that got postponed so I'm going to be doing that. This takes me about an hour to go through because I do cut off the fat and use the good parts. These are bacon ends so it's a lot of fat mm, but it smells so good. This is top quality bacon but like I said it's the ends of it so it's mostly fat but 
I can salvage some of the meat. Very happy. I got some lettuce. So now we have some fresh food. Woo! I'm glad for that. A loaf of bread. Now, this expired on October 17th. For some reason, the bread comes to us very old. I don't know if they had it in the freezer, but it is never moldy. But I got to do something with it. So we are going to dehydrate it. And we're going to make either croutons or we're going to make breadcrumbs with it because it's garlic parmesan and it was from Wegmans, which there's no Wegmans near me. So it's expensive bread, so I don't want to let it go to waste. Something I've never seen before, we got two of these and I'm going to probably bake them now and that way I can freeze them baked already. So I don't know the expiration date on these. And maybe they won't turn out so good, but we'll try it. Some cookies, which is really nice to have. More of my dry malt, which I have no idea what that is. So there you go. That is everything for this month. It is quite a bit of stuff, but it's stuff that I can use. And I can use it for the months ahead because a lot of it I can put in my pantry. So let me know in the comments below, what is dry malt? Any other ideas that I could do with the limes and some of the bacon ends? Any ideas of some of this food? What would you do with all of this food? Come on, let's get a conversation going. I need some inspiration on what to do. And what are these little things? I only have a couple of them, but they're really cute. I take it, it's a kind of lime. And tofu. Is tofu something that I can make? Oh boy, I'm not much of a cook when it comes to different recipes like that. How do you make tofu and what is it good for? Take care everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Woohoo! Get ready. There's a lot of cooking videos coming up because we're going to be making some different food this month. Just in case there's a couple new subscribers that came to my channel, just to let you know a disclaimer, this is food that was left over from a pantry and it is going to be thrown away. So, this food that I took, I didn't take from anyone in need. It was food that was left over. So, this food was on its last day, and it was going to be thrown away. And so, they open it up to the public and to the community. And we come at the very end, and whatever's left, we can take. And there was a lot of cases of food left. I just wanted to give that disclaimer. I'm going to have to give that disclaimer every month, because it seems like a few people just don't quite understand. I know, it's a real blessing in my life, and you never know when it will be the last month of doing this. But I'm very thankful because of it. I'm filling up my pantry, and I'm able to eat and the food that was going to be thrown away, and it really saves us at a time when we really need it. Take care, everyone. God bless you, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. In the course of these last few months, I've had quite a few questions, and so I thought I would take a moment and answer a few of them for you today. I'm not commercially set up to preserve food and give it to the general public. Now I can give my food to family and friends and that I do, but I can't can my food or preserve my food and then give it to the public in general. But I do give a lot of, of my food away to people that I do know personally. Also a lot of people are asking about all of the food that I have. Number one is I am a prepper. A person that is a prepper, they prep food or supplies in times of need. Now, I'm not one of them preppers that think that the world is going to end tomorrow. But I do prep for in case I would ever have financial disability in my life and I wouldn't be able to buy food. So I'm prepping for things that could happen in my life. As you know, my husband and I, our income has been slashed 75% since I started my YouTube channel. That is due to health and other issues of our life. And so by getting this free food, it has been a blessing to me in ways that most people who watch my videos could never comprehend. And lastly, I enjoy freezing and canning food. And I have a rotating little grocery store in the room that you see all of my food. I don't store that just to hoard it away. We live off of that food and so it is always being rotated and none of the food gets old. For me this is a hobby. This has been a life-saving 
experience for me to be able to do this and I really have it blessed others by doing it as well every once in a while I'll get a comment from someone they don't seem to quite understand they often say that I make life really hard on myself they say why do I do all of these things and make it so hard on my life well what else do you want me to do I enjoy this it gives me a purpose in life I'm also gleaning things I'm also recycling things I'm also having a greener footprint on the planet that I live on and so it gives me purpose and it gives me a great joy and satisfaction in doing something I'm the kind of girl who doesn't want to just sit around and as long as I possibly can I'm going to live this kind of lifestyle a lot of people question and wonder what is going to happen to me when I get older but you know I do understand that we all get older and things can happen but can you imagine if tomorrow I couldn't do all this I could live two to three years on all of the hard work that I've done already and that I find blessing in. If you haven't noticed by now, when I get really excited, I talk really fast and I talk really loud. <laughs> and you know, at the end of every month, it sure does get me excited on the food that I can glean and get for free. <laughs>